Do you have those moments in your comments that you see people are just making fun of you and hating your progress? It's a bummer, right? Do you want to know how you can handle these comments or maybe what kind of mindset you can set for yourself when you see them just mouthing away? Hey Freedom, what's up? Welcome to Freedom Quick Tips. In this episode, let's talk about how you can handle your haters and I'm pretty sure that you guys have them all. Alright guys, so here are the things you should know about them first. Number one is they are not happy. No happy person actually hate on people. In fact, when people see other successful people, they are more gleeful. It's the opposite of people who are not happy. This is the line called, misery loves company. This saying is true. People who are miserable, they want everyone to be like them. Miserable people revel in the idea of people failing because they want you to be like them. And that's why they bring you down. Don't let them. Number two is they actually do not know who you are. Okay, so most of the time, people who hate on you are people who just don't know your story. They don't know your life story, the days you shed tears because you're in a slump and you want to change yourself. The sleepless nights you put into your work and of course the things you have sacrificed to get where you are. They don't know anything about that and that's not your fault and because of that, they'll chalk it up to pure luck. Number three, they don't invest in themselves to improve. Most of the time, your haters are people who are not willing to put in the work and since they do not know like we said a while ago they will just chalk it up to you being lucky do these sentences sound familiar oh they're already rich to begin with oh they got lucky oh they have the connections and whatnot these are the things that your haters are thinking about you now that we know something about your haters let's talk about how you can deal with them number one is love yourself first let's face it it's harder than it looks you have to be in a good place before you can just really shrug these haters off so how do you love yourself? Well, for starters, you can always tell yourself that you are the best and no one can ever tell you otherwise. And with this being said, you have to improve yourself. If you are gaining a few pounds or more, get into the mindset that you need to slim down or shave off those few extra pounds. Believe us, it will make you feel better about yourself knowing that you are in shape. With that being said as well, you gotta improve on your skills, read up on what you want to become, develop and learn how you can pursue your dreams. Number two is there will be haters that actually make sense. Listen to those criticisms. Some haters might provide really valuable insights about what you are doing wrong and you should listen to them. But if you see comments that are blatantly just attacking you, those are the comments you gotta just stop reading. All of your haters want to see you fail. Don't let them succeed. Number three, don't respond with violence. So, okay, I know it sounds really good to just give them a taste of their own medicine and believe me, I really, really want to respond to these comments and just base myself off of their level but I try my best to not stoop down to their level. You have no time exchanging mean messages to each other. Always remember that you are busy developing yourself, becoming the best you can be and no one can tell you otherwise. Number four, remember every time they leave a comment and dislike your videos, they are actually helping you. They're actually helping you, putting you out there and they don't realize it as much. That is a really good metric that YouTube takes note of when they dislike your video. Number five, let it become your fuel, not your weakness. We get why you might be depressed or feel bad after reading a comment from your haters and that's okay. We cannot always please everyone, but what you can do is to learn from their comments. They can be able to help you gain insights with what's wrong with your channel. Always ask yourself, what can you learn from this comment so that you can win over them. Think about it, you learn something while they're still hating, you win. Number six, don't stop being you. You are the most important word in the vocabulary. You should always take care of yourself. Do not let mindless comments bring you down. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just out there doing what you love to do, which is making awesome content and that's great. Do not lose sight of who you are and what you want to do in life. Like we said a while ago, Misery loves company. If you stop being yourself and become like them, you become miserable and we do not want you to spiral down to that level. So just to recap guys, haters are pretty much people who want to see you fail because they are very unhappy people, which by trying to bring you down, they can actually feel less miserable. Remember, Misery loves company and in order to stop thinking about them, you just have to remember that you are busy and you want to improve and become a better person for yourself. Do you know any friend who can't deal with their haters? Share this to them so that you can help them out. Before you leave guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. See you all guys in the next episode of Freedom Quick Tips. Goodbye.